Hello everyone, welcome again to another review. In this case, we will be considering the Rotring 800 and the Craft Gear 1000. If you enjoy my videos, please give it a like and subscribe. That way, I can continue making these videos for you. As always, I'm going to share with you the agenda for today's video, in which we're going to take a look to the technical aspects, as well to the mechanism for each pencil, the design flows, the feeling in the hand, and a sound test comparison, and also we have to check the price in order to arrive to a conclusion. Please stay tuned and let's begin. Just a hint for this video, I already compared the 800 to the 600 and also to the Rapid Pro from Rotring. So if you want to know more about this pencil in detail, please check these videos and I'm going to focus now on the Graph Gear 1000. I'm going to go fast through the 800 and be focused more on this one. So let's begin then with the Rotring 800. As you can see and perhaps remember, we have a length of 14.2 centimeters and the graph gear has a length of 14.9 centimeters. The thing is, when this is collapsed, we have a noticeable one centimeter less, but when the graph gear is collapsed, so when you press this one here, you think, oh, okay, then this point is gone, must be half a centimeter less but no as you can see here in the back this gets bigger so this is pressed but when you do this all what you save here goes up in this direction so then you still have 14,8 centimeters and when you compare them side to side let's say when you want to transport them or perhaps put it in your pocket you see the difference is quite big and when this one is extended and let's be fair let's do the same so then you see that you still have a difference in the length. Regarding the width, we are going to measure always here on the grip side. For the 800, we have a 8 millimeter diameter. And for the graph gear, we have a 10 millimeter diameter. So what does it mean? Let me show you side to side. You can see there the difference already and if i show you from this point of view we are speaking of two millimeters in diameter difference so it's a bit complicated to see but from this point of view i think it's easier um what about the weight the 800 has a 25 gram weight versus the graph gear which has 21 grams and this is four grams but you already can tell that when you lift this it's more heavy than when you lift the graph gear and what does it mean when you're writing every day i believe the 800 is a bit too heavy to take notes for a long period of time versus the graph gear i think it is easier to take notes for long periods of time you should consider this if you plan to use this as a writing a tool and not more like a drawing tool. The other thing that we have to consider is the balance point. And by the rod ring, if you remember, this was 7.4 centimeters measured from the tip, and that landed here perfectly on the O. When we measure the same for the graph gear, we have 8 centimeters also from the tip. So, in order to have a comparison, if you put them side by side like this. And let's measure eight centimeters from here. You see that the graph gear eight centimeter is around here. If I twist this, then we have a better position so you can compare the eight centimeters there versus the rod ring. So it is uh, 0 0.6 centimeter higher in the balance point. And of course, we're going to see that this uh, grip is also different in the way that um, it is higher, this part. So that forces you to also have a higher grip. And then you also have a higher center of mass. This, of course, depends on the way that you graph the pen and the way that you write. But we're going to compare this in the um, feeling in the hand part of this review. The next thing that is also important, and there is a huge difference, is the advanced mechanism. For the Rotring 800, 
you have to press around 14 to 15 times in order to have one centimeter of lead but the graph gear needs more what does it mean that each pressure the advance is really small so then you have more precision when you press the graph gear so regarding the grip and we're going to start with the biggest uh, physical differences <laughs> you can see here already look this you have the 800 to the right of course you can see that more or less a quarter of the grip is already gone when you start with the um, graph gear. And this in, in size, let's see how much you have here. You have around one centimeter. Yes, versus the graph gear. Let me grab this easier like this until the grip you have around 2.1 centimeters so it's a huge difference from when you uh, grab the pen and also if you put it side by side again uh, you can see that the graph gear with the grip goes higher also again around two centimeters and what does it mean like here i grab it around the middle to write like this but if i want to make the same here so I would have to grab the grab gear really at the bottom. And this feels a bit uncomfortable. So I am kind of forced to grab it really high. And if I compare how high I grab it, so it's around the middle of the grab gear, means that I am at the end of the grip on the 800. And I don't write like this. So to me, this one is a bit too high and makes it uncomfortable to write versus the 800, which I believe has the perfect height for my taste. Regarding the texture of the grip, the 800 is um, rougher, I would say, than the uh, graphic gear. And I'm going to give you a sound test, so you, perhaps you can hear this. So maybe you hear it, I hope you do. The 800 has a deeper groove than the graph gear. It's, this one is deeper and it is also finer in the size. This is bigger in the size and it is more superficial. I hope you can see it better in this light. There you can see perhaps. And also you have a rubber part, these uh, ovals that you see which helps to have a softer grip. It is not sliding, but it is softer to the hand and you don't realize so much that you have this uh, texture here. But in the 800, you do realize it is more like acting like a brake versus this, that perhaps you can slide a bit. But yeah, depends how hard you grab, uh, you grab your pen and how do you write, but the level of comfort from comfort i would say this one is better it's not so um, harsh or it's not so gripping but uh, from quality i think the 800 is ahead so you feel more quality uh, in the 800 versus the 1000 from graph gear so let's continue then with the mechanism and for the 800 as you can see from the outside you just twist this part here and then it is open then you twist it back and it is closed. For the 1000, you press here, then it's out and you press again here and it goes back in. One thing to notice is the 1000 makes a lot of noise or it is really loud in comparison to this. So if you are in a meeting room or perhaps in class, uh, for sure this will not go unnoticed. From the inside, uh, please check the other videos which I compare the 800 to the 600 and the Rapid Pro. If you want to see in detail how this looks inside. For the graph gear, I'm going to uh, take it apart. This is another thing, by the way, that the road ring doesn't have, which is this uh, LED signalizer or 
you can select here to keep a track of which led you have. So you have to undo this here. This part comes out in the same here and the back. Let's begin with this bottom part. This piece is metal, as you can hear from the inside. It looks like this. Really good quality, I would say. Then you have the grip itself, a mixture of metal and rubber. And I'll show you from this point of view. So then you can see the rubber inside. So what else? Then you have the pen itself, it cannot be taken apart anymore. And we'll put it in this thing. So I can show you, you have a plastic screw and you can see it's really, really fine. Then the lead signalizer again, and from this part, let me show you closer. You have the clip and the back, which is also metal. From the rubber, the rubber cap, you can see that is this split design. It's not one full piece or closed piece of metal for this one. As you can see, and this is also metal, which is fine. But when you compare it, just to show you this part only with the 800, let me put it in the right position. You can see the 800 is one piece versus this uh, piece, which is divided, it's not a closed piece from the Graph Gear 1000. And this is uh, a quality difference. I can see the rod ring looks a lot better and feels a lot better. So let me put this back in and um, we can proceed then to the other parts of the review. As a matter of quality, I must say that the, um, both of these pens feels like good quality, but this part of plastic and metal doesn't give me much confidence if you want to uh, see how the 800 is built inside uh, please check the other videos where i compare to the 600 and the rapid pro but quality wise i would say from the construction point of view the 800 has the edge but the graph gear is not so bad i would say it's just a matter of preference the only thing as i told you here is the plastic and metal that you have here, which I don't have good feelings about. So let's continue with the review. I spoke a bit about the design flows in the last part of the video, but just a reminder for the 800, which I didn't like was this um, mechanism that because of this moving part here at the top, this rattles a bit when you are uh, writing or when you're using the pencil. If you want to know more, please check the other videos, as I said before. For the graph gear, I could say that the mechanism is a bit too loud. It feels firm, it feels really um, sturdy and nice, but yeah, it's a bit too loud for using in an office or uh, when there is too much uh, silence around. Uh, regarding the part here from the metal and the plastic connection, I don't like it so much, but doesn't mean it will break. It's just a preference uh, that you cannot see in the rod ring. And regarding also the uh, mechanism to click, I find the graph gear a lot more pleasant to click than the 800. Uh, I'm going to show you in the next part about the feeling in the hand and also the sound test, but I feel this has a nicer click. It is uh, firm as well. It is not so, um, yeah, not so hard and dry as it is in this one. It's imprecise. Yeah, it's not so nice when you compare the rotring 
versus the graph gear. I prefer this regarding the clicking action a lot better than this one and even more to the 600. The 600 was also heavy but not so tactile as this one. Regarding the feeling in the hand, I have to say that the graph gear feels really soft and nice for the grip that it has. You don't slide when you are writing. It's not so soft that uh, it goes away in your hand. The 800 feels with more grip and it feels like it will never leave like this as it can happen in the graph gear. But this is a bit too extreme to compare like that. I think both are different in, in their own way. This is really grippy and it's more uh, mechanical. Well, this is uh, really soft and pleasant to the hands, more comfortable for sure. Uh, regarding the weight, uh, we saw that there is a four grams difference between the two. And I have to say that the 800 feels too heavy if you want to uh, write down a whole sheet of paper at once. For that, I would take the graph gear. It feels lighter, the four grams makes a difference. And perhaps the only thing they should have to get used to is the height of the balance point and also the grip for this part is a lot higher than the 800 so you are kind of forced to grab it here which would be grabbing the 800 from this point and maybe you can get used to this in my case i have to get used to this but uh, perhaps you already use your pencils in this regard now we're going to make a sound test let's begin with the graph gear And now let's do the 800. As you remember, the 800 has a clicking noise from this part to this body, but if you want to hear it properly, please go to the other video. I can tell you how it sounds like. There you can see if you grab it in this position, but if you twist it, it doesn't make it anymore. So when you twist it, it happens. When you twist it, it doesn't happen. can happen when you are writing with it. Regarding the price, as you can remember, the 800, I paid 40 euros and the graph gear, I paid 15 euros. The price difference is huge. And I believe the 800 falls into a luxury item when you compare it to the graph gear. For the price, I don't think the 800 is is twice the value of the graph gear, but we're going to make a summary in the next section in order to arrive to a conclusion. Which one should you get then? Well, I believe at this point you already made your own conclusion. And personally, I think that these pencils belong to different categories. And for the 800, I think this is a luxury item. It is something that is nice in the hands, it's a really good quality. You can use it to take notes and it's a fancy um, mechanism here to twist and it looks nice. Also it looks really high quality. It looks like it's made of metal and you have a high perceived quality. On the craft gear, 
you don't get much of that i mean it looks also nice it's interesting in the design has a bit of shiny parts which is not my taste but regardless of this it's also a good quality pen both of them made in japan and i think the craft gear falls into the category of a practical pencil also regarding the weight and the way that is um, built I believe the Graph Gear would be a really good pencil to use every day in order to take notes um, when you have to write down calculations or write down text for extended uh, periods of time. I think the Graph Gear is a lot better than the Rod Ring in this regard. And the 800 I would use to draw, perhaps I would use for technical drawing or um, also to make some calculations to write down some text, but in not a long periods of time as it can be really um, tiring to write with this pen unless you're used to this also regarding the grip perhaps uh, you don't like this high grip that you get in the craft gear and you are better with the 800 grip that's also a matter of taste i believe so i hope i helped you to make your own decision please don't forget to subscribe give it a like and i will see you again in the next videos.